Oh boy. We are live. Here we go. Absolutely. Getting ready. And calling in my people. So, it is June 5th. Yes, and wondering if we are live on Facebook. Okay, well, we're going to act as if. Here we go. We're going live on Instagram. Very happy to see you all. Mother, Father, God, we are so grateful to be present with you right now in this moment. We ask right now that we be filled with the power of the Spirit, power of wisdom, of knowledge, of understanding, of consciousness. We ask that right now we gain clarity on that which is going on around us and as important, that which is going on inside of us. Whew. We ask right now that we become our own tower of light, a tower of miracle power, a pillar of wisdom, of certainty, so that we can actually step into higher ground and hold on, holding as if we are a tower of light, a beacon of hope and faith and certainty, so that those who are swirling around in the emotions, the disturbances, the fear, know that this too will pass. Understanding that that which is going on right now is that which is part of the destiny and the unfoldment, not just of you and me, not just of our family and community, but our state and our country, our globe. There is a shifting of the tides that was preordained to occur 2020 and today my dear ones is part of that day today is the full moon it is in cancer it is in the house of our home of where we lay our our heads when we go to sleep at night where we eat our food and nurture our soul our very essence is in a state of disturbance and chaos. And beloved ones, it is time to master our fear, master our emotion, and step out into that which is the destiny, knowing that only that which is for the highest good will unfold. And knowing too that we were born for this. So good morning, I'm Joan of Angels. You are in the Desert Heart Sanctuary where I paint divine beings and I channel their messages so that you can and I can understand that there is a greater power beyond us. And we are part of that. We've agreed to work with this power so that we can be part of the solution. And beloved ones, solutions on this planet come first from the dreaming of them. First from stepping into the higher consciousness and accessing that higher wisdom. The messages of the ancient ones are here for all of us. For we came in with them as well. And what is unfolding today is part of what unfolded in other times too. Knowing that time is, is vertical. And that we are in different timelines simultaneously. So today, as I do every day, I pull cards and ask how... Do I align my energies now Ooh, with what is going on? And today is a sixth day, numerologically, which is a day of responsibility, a, a universal day of responsibility, because that's what the numbers add up to. And so in my vision, I see the angel's wings for each and every one of you. Really spreading out a day of responsibility and taking care of ourselves 
and our community. And we cannot do that from a place of out of balance, which is why today is called mastering our mind and our emotions that sometimes are far behind. So we're so grateful to have this moment of time so that we can actually realign body, mind, and spirit in a place of grace. And when I pulled that card this morning, it was the same card I pulled yesterday, and it was the same card I pulled the day before. And so there is no coincidences in the planet. And so it was the serpent card, which in other decks is the tower. Now we know that the tower in the ancient tarots, when the tarot, when you pull the tower, tower, it means that everything is about to burn up, go up in flames or turn upside down, but literally burn up in flames. And what do we have around us but a planet, a country that feels like it is going up in flames. But beloved ones, here is what the serpent says. The serpent says, life and our planet is filled with cycles. And right now, as foretold, it is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new one. So dreaming the new one into reality, dreaming the world that we want to see, doesn't come from being steeped in the chaos, but rather it comes from stepping above so that we can, we can look down from above and we can see the big picture as if it's a film being played out and then we can see our role in it. Does that make sense, my friends? Does that make sense? Each of you who are hearing this now or will hear this later, and all of my friends of acknowledging your presence, but understand that this has been ordained, this chaos, is what comes and proceeds before huge change. It's as if you've changed a lane in the freeway, all right? A complete shifting from one to the other. But maybe we haven't looked at all the cars and the trucks that are in the way, and boom, 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 it explodes until the fragments of what we are placing out there so again, we say, you were born for this. This is your destiny. 2020, June, this is what you came here for. Allow it to unfold, gracefully knowing that this too will pass. And when it passes, you will be able to understand what happened. The dark forces have been released upon the planet. But so too are the light forces and each of one of you have your place as a force of light because together when we create these pillars of light, we can energetically ignite the highest frequencies around. And we can because we're connected from here to there to there and we are connected above the ground looking down, healing, we can shift the planet into the light. We could turn it up so bright. We do not do this from fright, nor can we be in fright. Only can we be centered in the groundedness of our personal inner reality. Now, one of the interesting things about this card that I pulled for the third time this week says, okay, well, and this is for all of us. It symbolizes the beginning or ending of cycles. If the initiate, and we are all initiates right now, Monshuri, and I am grateful for your presence. If we struggle against the necessary changes precipitated by the rhythm of these cycles, he or she will suffer. Thus, you understand we cannot 
fight against it. We can only say, let's be the solution. Let's hold steady with our wings. Let's hold steady with our energies. Let us remember that we were born for this. Now, what else does the serpent tell us? The connection between the upper world and the earth and the gods and the mortals. Wait till I share this with you. They're talking about the pillar that I've been talking about. This pillar and others behind it symbolizes the many path, the initiate, you, me, have followed in other lifetimes. Okay. The initiate, you, me, have reached a point when connection to the gods is necessary to avoid spiritual disaster. Connection to the gods is necessary to avoid disaster, chaos, and confusion. So this is a message to connect to your sources, connect to your guides, connect to your angels. Indicates the beginning or ending of a cycle in life. Change and conflict are upon you unless you are careful and flow with the changes. Now, upset in life is necessary to create something new. Tonight, now, the full moon. What is it you want to create? What is it you want to see when we get through this? Knowing that the forces of light are in a spiritual war with the forces of dark, we ask right now for the outcome, which is the highest good for the entire planet. The highest good so that we can evolve into a peaceful, loving, equal, balanced, prosperous planetary existence with beings who are enlightened, coming forward with their wisdom, with teachers who know who and how to teach of higher philosophies that relate to today's life. It does no good to say that you are a spiritual being and then begin to rant and rage and rant and rage, even if it's at the politics of the day or because the moment you get out of your center, and you allow that dark energy to push you, you are no longer master of your mind. And confusion, it will find you will be found, but not by the sound and the light that you are hoping for. Dost thou understand this inner transformation comes from within, but without attachment to the outcome, knowing that that which is for the highest good will unfold if we do the work. Yesterday I came online and had a beautiful channeling. It was so divine. And I mentioned that my computer had died. Just turned around and just there it lied, okay? And I discovered that I couldn't go online in the ways that I wanted to without that fine computer. And I mentioned that online. And yesterday at 3.45, my dear friends arrived with a Mac so fine, so delightful. Doesn't matter how many years it has. My prayer was answered because after I left and I had mentioned that, I had a secret thought. And that was, whoa, wouldn't it be amazing if someone on this live actually heard this and brought me a computer, a Mac, that I could use for the time being until I buy my next Mac, meaning I'm not quite ready. And believe it or not, by 445, I had this Mac and here we are. The browser works just fine, regardless of the amount of time. But the message here is I planted a seed. I had a thought with my, ma my mastermind. I said, wouldn't that be divine to have something so fine to fulfill that thought of just a computer to fill this space and time? Now, you could do that with me this day. What is it we want spirit to send your way? 
for what is a mastermind, but to see and plant out the thoughts we want so that they can be returned in kind. We are going through a portal, a tunnel. It is very important that how you handle your life, your situations and your challenges will define where you be at the end of this. So let us dream it together. Beloved ones, we ask right now that that which is unfolding on this planet bring about the changes that are for the highest good of all. That healing, prosperity, beauty, love, compassion, equality, opportunity, abundance of, of food, abundance of shelter, abundance of work, abundance of happiness, abundance of joy, abundance of communication and compassion, an abundance of planting seeds of harmony upon our beautiful planet so that within every community are gardens of hope and beauty where everyone can thrive. Can you imagine a planet where everyone thrives so that they can share their best gifts here? We can do that. We create it inside. So today, my loved ones, I am so grateful that you shared with me that you are here. Behind me over here is that master painting I talk about on Mondays, Miracle Monday, 7 o'clock, on the same channel, Joan of Angels Shop. But I, there's a card in the deck that I always pull, and it's, it's the master teachers. And I talk about the ancient mountains of Sedona and how when I went there in meditation, I opened my eyes, and there was literally a cave, a crystal city, a, a portal into that. And the masters came out to speak to me and bring us these messages. So the master teacher. So guys, I'm Joan of Angels. I really appreciate this. Share this with your friends. If it's been of value to you, let me know a few comments to go with the flow. I'll be here tomorrow earlier. I think I'll be on at 8.30 because tomorrow... Tonight and tomorrow, I am going in sacred ceremony with the ancestors, as that card is suggested. So the timing of the card is really perfect. And I will be bringing back their messages for us. So I love you. Have a fantastic and blessed day. Ciao. Yeah. And you on Instagram, thank you for joining us, okay? We are so happy to see you. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, stop there.